everyone, today I thought I'd do a bit of a different video. I've not done anything like this before, or I've not really seen anything like this. It's going to be kind of like a comparison video of luxury merch and more of budget type merch. So I thought I would go through my collection and pick out a few items that are kind of available in a range of budgets. So to start off, hopefully, hopefully that makes sense. Anyway, one of the first things that kind of sprung to mind when I thought about doing a budget Harry Potter merch versus luxury... Is it luxury? Well, I suppose they are. Um, Harry Potter merch video was the colouring books. So this was my very first Harry Potter colouring book. Now, I'm rubbish at colouring, so it's, it's not full. But I think for a budget kind of colouring book, this is pretty good, I mean, look at the detailing. And you can get these pretty cheap. Now I'm not going to try and remember all the prices because some of these things I bought years and years ago. So throughout the video I'll put prices at the bottom or wherever. And then in the link I'll put where you can buy these things from so you can find them yourself. Anyway, so this is a budget colouring book. And then here is the more luxury type book. Now this one is hardback whereas this one's paperback and this one just has like a lovely rose gold kind of foil detailing on it and it oh it's just beautiful but then it that gold printing foiling thingy runs right through the book and it's just this one's a bit pricier i think the last time i seen this it was about 12 pounds in asda and that was quite a good deal for it so i mean if you're a very good artist this is a very nice book to have Next up are some wands. So I was subscribed to the Geek Gear box, um, it's probably a couple of months ago now. I have cancelled it but um, but while I was subscribed to it I got a wand that I already had. However, the Geek Gear things aren't official merchandise so that is why I'm choosing this as the budget wand because I'm pretty sure you can go onto the Geek Gear website. I don't, I'm sure you can buy the bits that come in the boxes later on in the year after they've already come out in the boxes does that make sense so you can probably get hold of this anyway this is Sirius Black's wand so it comes in I mean it's nice that it comes in a box anyway it's just a cardboard box and then it's wrapped nicely in some pretty Harry Potter themed tissue paper now, I wouldn't normally choose a Geek Gear item because it's unofficial merch but I just thought this one was actually really very well made Sirius's wand and it has the detail in pretty spot on but then I also have this was the first wand I ever bought with Sirius's wand and this was from it was from Harry Potter World in Florida so this one obviously comes in a better box more sturdy a bit more like an Ollivander wand box and it comes nicely secured inside the box and now this one it's a lot heavier it's longer and the detailing is a lot lot better but I think really it's quite a good replica of the replica so I was really impressed with that. So I thought this was quite a good budget option because I think the ones are about £30-ish, which can be a bit pricey, especially if you want to have like a bigger collection or like if you wanted to buy them for your kids to play with or something like that or fancy dress, then there are budget options out there.
Next up I've got a Noble Collection item versus a Run and Press item. Now the Run and Press items are just, they're really good, most of them. And this one is Slytherin's Locket. It's quite detailed considering it was quite cheap. You can't open it but there's nothing inside. And they come with little sticker books with them inside the boxes so they're pretty cool. And I think they're about a fiver-ish. And I just think it's really good quality. But I also have the Noble Collection one. Now this isn't the one that you buy from Noble Collections website. Or this is the one that came with the limited edition humongous Harry Potter DVD box set. I'll show you a picture now. So this one doesn't come in the nice little display thing because it's like hidden within inside the DVD box. So it just comes in this. And then it has inside that's just like not a certificate of authenticity but kind of something along them lines that just says it's by Noble Collection and things and then it comes like this this one is a lot heavier it's made out of metal whereas the run and press one was made out of plastic and I think probably the most obvious thing is how much lighter it is in colour but the Noble Collection one doesn't have anything on the back it's just pretty plain whereas the run and press one has another kind of it's so hard to show you another little window and again this one does open but there's nothing inside but I just thought really you just apart from the color difference it, it's not a bad budget version I'd be quite happy just to have this one even though I'm really happy I have this one but for display purposes for even wearing it it's I think it's a really nice quality item I mean it doesn't beat the quality of Noble Collection because they are I mean they're the one really aren't they Noble Collection but yeah I thought you did pretty well with that one I would like to get the Noble Collection one that comes in the nice little display box but I think I think because I already have it that would be a bit daft maybe if I find it for a bargain somewhere one day the run and press theme and well necklace theme as well I have the run and press time turner it's quite bulky I wasn't as impressed with this as I was with Slytherin's locket like I mean it's nice and it's I like that it's got the long chain but other than that it's it's a bit naff really but again it's good for like display purposes and fancy dress cosplay whatever but yeah, I just not as impressed with this one. I wasn't as impressed with it as I am with the Noble Collection one. Obviously, this one comes in the nice display box, which Noble Collection are very good at doing. It's a little wooden box, and then you can lift it out. And there's the time turner. And it turns when you turn the thingies, but I'm a bit scared in case it fall off, so I don't want to turn it. It has the sand and all the detailing. Oh, if it's ever gonna focus anyway I'll insert a close-up but the only thing that I don't like about this one is the chain is really short and obviously in the films the chains really long so I just I feel like it's not as wearable because it's like quite big there I don't, I don't know I just don't feel like the fasten is secure enough so I'll, I'll not wear that one <laughs> but it looks beautiful on the shelf anyway I do have one that I do wear I bought this one quite recently and this one really is a budget item I bought the mini one from Primark and this one does spin as well it doesn't have the sand in it but it was three pounds and it's it's lovely <laughs> and it's really nice to wear it's really lightweight I wore it this weekend actually and I just think I got loads of compliments on it and I just I just think it's a really really good budget option for a time turner that you can wear as well in public and it's quite subtle not many people realize it was from Harry Potter until I told them so that's always nice
think I'll carry on the jewellery theme. This is the last jewellery piece, so don't worry. This is a Primark chocolate frog necklace. Now this came in a pack with all different things. I've got the earrings in today and it, I think it's about a fiver for all of them. And it was like four pairs of earrings, a couple of bracelets and a necklace and they were all Honeyduke themed. So this definitely was a bargain. It was a good, very good budget item. But I have previously bought the chocolate frog necklace from the studio tour and these are, you can only buy them in the studio tour. They come with a little chocolate frog box design and then a little chocolate frog dangling in front. And I think this is about £13 but it's, I think it's silver plated so slightly better quality whereas the Primark version might tarnish over time or I don't know. It's just not as good quality, but the detailing is very good. I am very impressed with Primark's jewellery range right now. I have got another Primark item. Oh, I'm already showing you it. It's a cauldron mug with the Hogwarts crest in gold on the front. It's quite a cute little mug. It has little feet on. I've got another cold, so again, my throat's a bit croaky and weird, so I apologise. I think it's this time of year, isn't it, where it's like crazy weather and always being out and about and things, so yeah. Feeling sorry for myself a bit. So this was a Primark one, and I think this cost about a fiver, which, I mean, it's a really nice mug. <laughs> um, and then I also have this cauldron mug, which is from... I think, well I got this as a gift but I think it's from Selfridges, the apothecary department mug and so this one is obviously very visibly different in that it has two handles, a bit more of a classic cauldron look to it and it's more of a matte black finish whereas this one's very shiny and pretty. Both have the Hogwarts crest on them so I thought they were good to compare. I think this one was about £15 which is a but, which for me is a bit pricey for a mug but it's a gift so <laughs> I didn't pay for it, it's fine I don't think it's very usable, like it's humongous it's like the size of my head, it's huge and I just kind of don't really like the feel of it it's quite strange, it doesn't feel like mug material if that makes sense whereas this one's just kind of a standard mug so it's quite nice to drink out of, you can use it but aesthetically I'd definitely say the luxury mug is better because it just looks really cool but for usability, it's a bit of a fancy word for you this one definitely, it's a good size, it's just feels better it's just, yeah is that a weird thing to say about a mug? I don't know And then lastly, I think you'll like this the most. It's another Noble Collection item versus a Tomy item. And if you know your Harry Potter merch, you might have guessed what this is. It is Hermione Granger's bag. So this one was made by Tomy. And it's kind of, well, it's a toy, I suppose. And it is really nicely detailed. It's got nice stitching and kind of the different colors and the tassels and the beads it's really nice but it's not as nice as the noble collection one look at that it's like oh it's a bit tangled it's like it's come straight out of the movie look at this all the sequins and the beading it's just so detailed and the colors are just they're so nice i love this i actually use this sometimes do you know when you're going somewhere fancy because Again, if you don't know Harry Potter, you're not going to realise that this is Hermione Granger's bag. So, I definitely try and use it when I can. And it has the little details on the handles. This one is visibly quite a bit smaller than this one. But as I say, I use this for just kind of when you go somewhere fancy and you don't really take much with you then. So, it is good to use. One of the main differences for me, which which was kind of disappointing considering the Noble Collection one is a luxury item and I, I think, I'll double check, but I think it costs around £70 which is, for a tiny bag, pretty pricey but the inside is just kind of, there's nothing going on 
which is fine. You don't expect much from a little tiny drawstring bag, but if you open up the Tomy one, you actually have secret compartments. So you can like hide things in there. And then, I mean, you have to kind of dig for them. It's got like pockets around the sides. So when you're like rummaging around your bag, it's like you've got an actual undetectable extension charm on it. But you just can't kind of compete with the beauty of this one. But this one is definitely a good contender. I think I paid about £16 for this in Forbidden Planet. And I was very, very happy with it. And I, I actually use this one quite a lot as well. But yeah. I mean they're both beautiful in their own right and the material of this one as well is like very cheap kind of is it nylon or something it doesn't say but it's that kind of shiny crinkly noisy material whereas this one's got that's like that's kind of fairy and then this is like it's not silky but it's kind of going that way and obviously with all the beading and detailing, it's just, you can't... I mean, they are kind of like two completely different bags. But I do love them both in their own ways. But this one is just beautiful. So yeah, I think that's everything that I've got to compare right now. I'm sure there's more, but these are kind of the things that pop to me head because they're quite popular things that people buy. I know people love the Noble Collection stuff and, and the ones and things and the Primark items are quite popular right now. So I thought it'd be nice to kind of compare them and just show you guys what's available depending on your budget. As I said, I'll post the links to each of these items in the description for where you can get them from and I'll try and find the cheapest places that I can of where they're available. So hopefully you can find yourself a good bargain or at least you can make an educated decision now on what you might prefer. Whether you wanna go the whole hog and spend the extra money and get the luxury item or if the budget item is good enough because most of them are very, very good and quite impressive considering like the run and press items are around a fiver and they're pretty spot on and detailed so it is possible to collect these cool things on a smaller budget which is good anyway i'm rambling on now aren't i and i've still got like a stuffy nose and a sore throat and i just feel like i sound like kermit the frog or something so i love you and leave ya thank you so much for watching as always don't forget to leave a like if you like this video and comment below and tell me kind of which item you prefer of any of these items whether it's a budget one or the luxury one and also don't forget to subscribe i'll see you soon bye